Again, welcome to another math class. Today we have this challenge before us. The question is simplify bracket open minus one close bracket all to the power of the square root of pi. So how do we simplify this? Easy. So let's try this very word. This is one. Okay. All right. Now before going to this challenge, there is an expression which I have given before. I said in that place that if you have minus 5 to the power of x is different from minus 5 close bracket all to the power of x. Okay? So there's difference between this expression and this expression. But what we have here now, we are having this one all in a close bracket here, all raised to the power of square root of pi. So how do we simplify this? All right, so let's take a solution here. Okay, so look at what we want to simplify. Here we have minus 1 all to the power of the square root of pi here. So this will not be equal to what? What we want to do here now, this is minus 1. So we think of rewriting minus 1. According to the Euler identity, it says that if you have your, you say your e to the power of your pi i plus 1, this is equal to zero. So if I move this to this side, this will turn to minus one. So this is going to give us e to the power of pi i, this is equal to minus one. So from this file identity, what happened, we can put in the value of minus one in this place here. So our minus one is equivalent to e to the power of pi i, right? Good. So we can rewrite this expression. So this line implies that our minus one or to the power of the square root of our pi, this is equal to our e or to the power of pi i, which is for this now, this minus one is what we replace it with this, okay? Then all raised to the power of what? Our square root of pi. Easy. Okay, so if we have this, we can use this to open up this. According to the law of indices, which says that if you have your, uh, let's take our a to the power of m n, I said this is equal to your a to the power of m bracket, open close our n, which is same thing as our a to the power of n, here, bracket to the power of n. All right, so again, if we consider this expression, then we can use this to times this power because this is exponent, this is exponent. So from here, we now have our expression here, which is our e to the power of pi i times our square root of pi, okay? Everything is equal to our minus one r to the power of square root of pi, yeah. All right, so let's continue here. So let's rewrite this radical here now. So if we rewrite this radical, this is going to give us our e or to the power of our pi i times our pi or to the power of one all over two. Okay, so let's put the whole of this in a bracket. Okay, so what we have here now, we can bring this and this together. Because here is to the power of 1. So if we bring this and this together, this in turn will have our e to the power of our pi always to, if we add this half to this one here, it's going to give us um, 3 all over 2, right? The i. Okay, so if this is what we have here, again, look at what we have here. This is our expression that led to this very expression here now. So for us not to be confused, let's put this in bracket. Okay, so in R, this now means that our minus one all to the power of our root pi is equal to our e to the power of bracket open pi power of three all over two, then close bracket iota. So from here we recall the Euler equation, which says that our e to the power of theta i, this is equal to 
our curves theta there plus i sine theta. Okay, we remember this Euler equation. So we can relate that to this expression here. So therefore, we cannot have our e to the power of your pi or to the power of 3 all over 2 to our i here. This will be equal to our curves here, pi to the power of 3 all over 2 in bracket, then plus our i is sine our bracket, our pi power of 3 all over 2 those bracket. All right. So with what we have here now, so what does that mean? It means that our expression here, so we have minus 1 bracket all to the power of square root of our pi. Okay. This is equal to our curves bracket our pi. Okay. This is pi, please. Pi to the power of 3 all over 2 close bracket. Then plus our iota, the sine bracket our pi power of three all over two close bracket. So this is the simplification of this. When you simplify this, this is what it gives you in turn. All right. So this marks the end to uh, this simple challenge here. Okay. Learn something from the video. Drop it in the comment section. We are there to reply to your comment. Thanks for watching online mass TV. Keep winning until we meet you in our next video. Bye for now.